Pattaya is one of the most inexpensive places you can visit. But we're going to make even cheaper. That's right, even if you're broke, you can visit Pattaya and have an amazing time. Oh yeah, and make sure to watch to the end for a pretty epic bonus budget travel tip. Number 7. Look for free attractions. You are not going to Pattaya to just sit in your hotel room or walk around the city. You want to get out and experience what this city has to offer. From the culture to the very active nightlife, the city has a lot to offer. But tours and attractions can wind up taking a huge bite out of your budget. That is why the very first tip we have is to look for free activities. Walk through the famous night markets, take a free walking tour. With a simple Google search, we are sure you will find a wealth of free things you can do so that you can save a little cash. Number 6. Central Location There are three big costs when it comes to travel, plane tickets, accommodations which we'll discuss later in this video, and transportation. Even with the low cost of public transportation in Pattaya, it can add up. So why not scratch that cost off your budget? How do you do that? It's simple. Walk to as many of the sites and activities as possible. That means you will need to be close to them, and the best way to do that is to look for accommodations closer to the city center. This is because most of the big attractions and must-dos in Pattaya and cities the world over were all built when the city was much smaller. That means, as we said, they all typically are located centrally, so find a central location and save money while getting your steps in. Also, doing this may just expose you to some sites that you would never see if you relied solely on that public transit. Number 5. Drink local and cheap It's tempting when you're traveling to look for a little security by eating and drinking things you're familiar with. But doing this is really messing with that limited budget. Staying away from tourist traps when it comes to restaurants and bars is a huge budget hack. Here you will be paying double and sometimes triple for the same things you can get at a local place. Also, the prices of imported drinks like beer are always higher. So sticking with local beverages is a surefire way to save a little money. That means if you're looking for a nice cold beer, asking for a Heineken or a Corona, would be a big mistake. Instead, try Thai beers like Chang or Leo. These beers are available in most of the more touristy locations and will definitely be cheaper than other options. But maybe an even better idea, as we said, is to get a little off the beaten track and enjoy that beverage where the locals do. Finding local bars and pubs will not only save you some money, but give you a more authentic experience. Beverages are just one part of the equation, though. You also must think about food, and our next tip will save a little cash when it comes to all this as well. Number 4. Eat Street Food You want a nice meal to wash down that ice-cold beverage, right? After all, you don't just come to Pattaya in Thailand for the nightlife. We're sure you want a sample of some of the fantastic cuisines this amazing country has to offer. That being said, sitting down in the restaurants of this city may be taking a bigger bite out of your budget than you may know. If you want a truly authentic culinary experience, then you don't have to walk in and sit down. While you're strolling through the city, you'll see tons of street food readily available. This is especially true if you're going to check out the famous night markets of Pattaya. The truth is, street food is an authentic and very Thai way of getting your sustenance for the day. On top of giving that authentic and sometimes very unique and exotic experience, it is the cheapest way to eat by far. So while you're out and about, make sure to stop at as many of these food stalls as possible, as we promise you won't regret it. Number 3. Look for happy hours We talk about drinking at local bars and pubs and drinking Thai beer, but if you're insistent on taking in the more touristic parts of Pattaya, we understand. There are a lot of interesting things happening there, and that is pretty enticing. So if you're going to hang out in these places, you may want to look for their happy hour schedules. Even in these tourist bars, clubs, and pubs, most will have a few hours during the evening where you can get drinks at a reduced rate. Find the schedule and plan to drink as much as you can in the next time frame. This should save you a little money, but if you do this, please be careful and try not to get too intoxicated. No one wants the evening to end with you having interactions with the local authorities. As a bonus tip, not completely related to happy hour, but definitely in relation to those adult beverages, 
If you're really strapped for cash, you can always hit up the local 7-Eleven and do a little pre-gaming. Number two, don't forget to haggle. Bargaining or haggling may be frowned upon in most of the westernized world, but here in Thailand, it's just the name of the game. It won't take you long as you stroll through the streets of Pattaya to realize that there are different prices for everything. One of those prices is for locals and the others for tourists. The tourist price is always higher. Though we don't suggest you haggle when it comes to prices of food and beverages, everything else is open game. After all, you want to get some souvenirs not just for yourself, but for your friends and family back home, right? This can get costly if you just take the prices at face value, so if you're headed to Pattaya, hone your bargaining skills. Make sure when you do this, though, that you use realistic and fair offers. These people are just trying to make money, and you don't want to be the foreigner that lowballs them. This will make it ten times worse for the next foreigner they interact with. So pay it forward, and be fair with that offer. Number 1. Hostels are your friend. As we said in the video previously, one of the biggest costs of travel is the accommodations. This is true no matter where you're going. Prices in Pattaya for the higher rated 4 star hotels in Pattaya tend to come in at about 1000 baht a night. Even 3 star hotels often cost around the same during high season. So how do you save money when the prices are so high? One word, hostels. Hostels like the Walking Street, Guest House, and Happy Hostel Pattaya get a bad rep. But they're by far the most budget-friendly option when it comes to accommodations. Even if you don't want to stay in a dorm room with perfect strangers, many of these hostels have one or two private rooms that will still be cheaper than most of the traditional hotels in the city. The bonus when choosing a hostel is that they often have group activities so you can meet some fellow travelers while getting to see sites with locals. Also, they tend to be located in the city centers, so you will be taking advantage of two of our tips for the price of one. Bonus? It's all about low season. One of the biggest expenses when you travel, other than plane tickets, is accommodation. Though we gave you a pretty epic tip just now about hostels, there is still a way you can save even more money on accommodations. The prices of accommodations are not set in stone, there is one time of the year when they drop pretty significantly, low season. The low season is the time of year when Pattaya and any destination sees less tourist traffic. This is typically because the weather is not as good, but that doesn't mean you won't be able to still enjoy your time in Pattaya, it might just mean you have to wear pants and carry an umbrella with you. The good news is that Thailand has two of these, April, May, and July through September are both low seasons. So if you're looking to save a little cash, book during these periods and just adjust your packing list to make sure you're ready for the weather. Good luck and hopefully we save you some money on your next trip. If you like the video, please make sure you like and share the video with friends. And if you'd like more travel related videos like this one, then please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.